The word engineering essentially means to make something happen, something that we want, we will make it happen in the most efficient possible way. That's engineering. If you're doing it in horribly inefficient ways, that cannot be called engineering, isn't it? We will say this is a fine piece of engineering when something that we want is happening with least amount of friction and with least amount of consumption. So if you have a body that if you use it for twelve hours, it sleeps for another twelve hours, it needs twelve hours of maintenance. Sleep is maintenance time, you know. If you had a car that you use it for fifteen days, fifteen days it's in the garage, it's better to take the public transport. Now you have a body which has to sleep ten to twelve hours a day. Now this is not an efficient system, it's not being managed properly. Probably the fuel is not good, maybe your engine is leaking. So is this all physical? No. Maybe medically you have been certified fit, but still if you need to sleep eight to ten hours, which unfortunately people are saying, qualified people are saying is standard that every human being must sleep eight to ten hours. It's a horribly inefficient perception of what a human machine is, isn't it? This is the most sophisticated machinery on the planet, this human mechanism. If this mechanism is made such a way, that half the time it's in maintenance, you cannot call it the most sophisticated. It's very simple. I will give you simply three things. Just do these three things, you will see your sleep quota will come down dramatically. Very simple things. Extremely simple things that you just do for ten, fifteen minutes a day you will see your sleep quota will come down dramatically. I'll give you something else, another three things to do, very simple things. You do this, your food quota can be brought down to at least thirty to forty percent of what you're eating. Still maintain your weight, maintain much more activity than you're maintaining right now and with much less sleep. So, you engineer something because you want to run it more efficiently. Running something inefficiently is not engineering. So I'm a mother, I have a job and I have things to do, whatever you are, it doesn't matter. Whatever you are, it's important, whatever the nature of your activity, you're doing something because you think it's important for you. If you're doing something that's important for you, if you think your work is important, the first and foremost thing that you should do is you should work upon yourself. Inner engineering is a systematic way of working upon yourself, not just in the body, not just in the mind, not just in the emotional level, but all aspects, your body, mind, emotion and energy, if all these things are aligned and organized properly, this machine will work so much more efficiently. So the amount of sleep that you need, the amount of food that you need, the volume of rest that the body demands can be brought down considerably. At the same time, the volume of activity can be greatly enhanced and made more efficient and more effective. Especially if you're a mother, your responsibility is not just for making your life work well, now you've taken the responsibility of making one or two more lives, their lives to work well. When you dare to take such a responsibility, I think you must do inner engineering, there is no choice for you. If you are not a mother, you could choose maybe, but if you are a mother, you have no choice, you must.